This is a 2016 F350. Uh, it came without any power windows, of course. We added the power window kit. Uh, we put the switches right here in the top, probably the cleanest way. We didn't want that plastic hump with the switches because it definitely would look like an aftermarket system. We try to make it as factory as possible. And then, of course, it's got the little dummy plate here. It looks like a little tweeter where the handle used to be. Uh, and that's basically it. We did the other side. Uh, the switches light up at night, too. So when you stop the car, the truck, I mean, they light up. I'm going to go ahead and go down. Yeah, not too bad for aftermarket. It's got a pretty decent speed. Uh, and that's basically it. Uh, the, the challenge that we ran with this truck was that this is a plug with pins. The, uh, the four change it over from the traditional rubber boot that you can fish the wires very easily now they made it into a plug basically they probably wanted it so in case you ever get into an accident and they have to replace the door it's just a matter of uh, unplug here take off the door and put a new one in and just plug it in so that eliminates all the cutting of the wires or whatnot so we have to kind of like run the wire behind through this rubber grommet here uh, which is a lot cleaner than going out through here which that's what I thought originally we were uh, going to end up doing but we end up uh, uh, spending more time in the truck and able to hide it as best as possible for the customer uh, go ahead and show uh, the other side how we came out as far as the other side is again the dummy plate the rubber boot the wires is ran in the back here did it as neat as possible uh, we didn't recommend a third switch number one because it's, it opens up the circuit uh, and what keeps the circuit closed is the little pins and the switches and I noticed over the years of doing that this window tends to slow down a lot more than the other one so and it's really pointless to have more wires and I probably won't want to be able to hide this as neat as possible with more wires going into the door and then it just defeats the whole purpose anyway because uh, if you're gonna lower down the window you can do it from the driver's side if you have a passenger you have full control of his window uh, and with the Miami heat and the Florida heat nobody drives with the windows down anyway it's just once in a blue moon that you want to roll them down for in case you want to light up a cigarette or somebody's gonna ask you a question from the opposite side of the truck and uh, beats the hell out of leaning over and and doing the little lever here this power window and kit was installed here in Miami, Florida by Auto Line Specialists and numbers are 305-298-4814. Thank you for watching this video.